Hey you guys, what's up? Okay, so this video I'm reacting to is The Strangest Faces by Joe Santagato. As some of you may know, there are people out there who aren't satisfied with just your standard old PNV. They need some wild shit. And that's where these fetishes are coming from. Add the sodomy. By the way, I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this shit correctly. <laughs> Someone who enjoys having sex with birds. Birds? Birds? A he bird? Just think about bird? that for a second. Having what sex this? with a bird. Fucking birds? Dude, how do you like having sex with a bird? How do you even find out that you like that? How do you even get near a bird? That's I can't even get near birds. They fly away. What is and wrong most with people, of all, man? why? Listen, having sex with animals is gross, and I don't condone that behavior at all. But if I did, birds wouldn't even crack my top 10. Maybe that's because I'm from New York, <laughs> and the only birds that I see are pigeons. And pigeons in New York look like they work on an oil rig. They're all dirty and sweaty. I don't even know if birds can sweat, but these birds look like they've been sweating all day. And there's fucking bird baths on every corner in New York. But they're like, fuck that. They're just dirty all the time. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not banging birds. Melissophilia. To be sexually aroused by bees. The fucking bees aren't safe either. We're banging the bees now. I read up on this one because when I first saw it, I got so confused. I got a sharp pain behind my right ear, and I don't know what the fuck that means, but I think it means my brain's like melting slowly. So anyway, <laughs> these bee lovers don't try to bang the bees. What they do is they take the bees and they place them on their dicks. Now, I don't think anyone realizes how dangerous this shit is. For starters, yeah, obviously this thing's gonna sting your dick, but what? I don't give a shit no. about you. If you put a bee on your dick, you deserve to be stung. The problem is, certain bees die after they sting there something. There is crazy and people out here. Forget, that when the bees Why die, would you we do die. that? We like, need them to pollinate. Alright? So you mess of whatever the fuck it's called, people. Enough. Cut the shit or else we're all going down. I don't want all the bees to die because they all stung your dick. Climactophilia. <laughs> being sexually aroused by falling downstairs. What? See, shit like this is so interesting to me because I'm totally different. When I fall downstairs, my first reaction is fucking ouch, that hurt. I hope I didn't break my ass bone. Fuck stairs. <laughs> But these people are like, I may have broken my hip, but I have a boner, and I think this is lovely. Imagine you met someone who was into this shit. They'd be like, oh, I like it rough. And you're like, oh, sick. You want me to like slap your ass and pull your hair? And they're like, no. I want you to find the nearest pyramid and just push <laughs> me down that fucking flight wow. of stairs. And you're like, what the fuck? The cool thing about this fetish is that it turns like a really bad experience into a fun one. Like I wish I had a fetish for taxes. Like every time I would pay my taxes, I got some sort of sexual enjoyment from that. I'm like, here you go, take my money. And I'm just rock solid the whole time. Mechanophilia? Definitely fucked that one up. To be aroused by machinery, most often cars. I've seen this on My Strange Addiction before. It was like some guy who was in love with his car. He would make out with his front bumper all the time, which is fine because at least this doesn't put the whole world at risk like you bee fuckers. However, this is still pretty strange and I have questions. First off, how do you have sex with a car? I asked my friend this and he said, obviously the tailpipe. How the <laughs> fuck is that obvious? First of all, a tailpipe is like it, this. Man. Who's gonna be able to feel anything in here? Whose dick is this thick? Not mine. By the way, this fetish applies to any like machinery, okay? It's not just cars. It's vacuums, vending machines, all kinds vending of shit, machines. all right? No appliance is safe. Oculolinctus. That was not even fucking close. Being aroused by licking someone's Ew. eyeball. Again, I have to ask, how did you find eyeball? out that this was the thing that gets you off? Did you already try everything else? Were you just like, all right, I already had P, M, little bit of A, bird B, car, and now it's time to tongue down someone's eyeball. Do you realize how much pink eye this must cause? Your mouth is a germ factory. I don't care if you're chugging Listerine eight times a day. There's germs in there. So if you take that dirty tongue and jam it in someone's eye, I'm like 87% sure they're gonna wake up with pink eye. A dark pink eye, like a severe case disease, of pink man. eye. It proctophilia. To gain sexual arousal from flatulence. Often on cakes. Often on cakes? Why would someone farting on your cake make you happy? What You're telling me that man? people want someone to come Where into is? their house, sit on their cake, and just rip a dirty <laughs> fart onto it? I've heard it all! Hey! You fart on my this cake, we are done for life. I'm not talking to you, 
texting you, and I'm definitely not taking a boner. That's for fuck sure. God, I am trying not to judge here, because who am I to tell you you shouldn't do the things that get you going, you know? If you like sticking your dick in the toaster every morning, you should do it. It's definitely not part of my morning routine. I prefer just a nice bowl of cereal. But hey, not everyone's the same. I get that. The whole reason this video even started is because on my podcast, someone wrote in and told me that they had a fetish for smelling farts. They like to be forced to smell farts. And he went into detail about why he liked it and how it started, and it all was very interesting. So that's why I looked up all these fucking things. So if you want to hear about that, you can go check out the podcast called The Basement Yard. It's on iTunes and SoundCloud. This is a very convenient way of promoting that podcast, which comes out every Monday. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. People are crazy out here. What the heck? Why would you... You know what? I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, like, subscribe for more videos, and comment any other video you want to see me react to.